Good morning, beautiful people. How are you doing? I am the last person to leave the alberge. So I did 26 miles yesterday. Long days walking. I mean, I actually feel pretty good. My legs are okay. But today I'm only going to do six miles or ten, six miles. It's only going to take me roughly two hours. I'm just really going to take my time and have a leisurely wander to the next big town, which is the halfway point. It begins with an S. S-A-H-A-G-U-N. Sangam. Mm. The next town, it does have a municipal alberge with 75 places and it did say on there, reservations not possible. A, 75 places is a lot of places. B, I'm only walking six miles so I should get there about 10 in the morning. Basically I'm taking this as like a day off, half day, quarter day. And I'm actually really surprised at um, how good my legs are today because I was thinking, oh, after yesterday, oh, I'm probably gonna feel a little bit of soreness. Nothing. The thing that is really annoying me about the whole bed situation is that apart from when I had that taxi debacle like, I don't know, a week ago, 10 days ago, I haven't actually, I think I booked like two days after that, but then it's been, it's been okay. Like I've managed to find somewhere every single day with like no real hassle. And then when you have an experience like yesterday where you can't find anywhere, suddenly that's all you can think about. So today, even though I know I'm only doing like six miles, it's only gonna take me like two hours. I'm still thinking, will I be arriving early enough at 10 o'clock to get a bed? That is what I'm hating about the walk on the Camino, is the fact that that is what is consuming my thoughts. Will I get a bed? 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 I don't want to be thinking about stuff like that. Thought process at the moment. I think these are actually a couple of things that do not get talked about enough. One, issues with finding a bed. Maybe it does, maybe I just haven't noticed it. And two, the issues with sleep deprivation due to snorers. Like, I feel as though people almost gloss over that and focus instead on the beautiful scenery <laughs> and the amazing people out there. That is our destination, folks. That's where we need to get to. First person to check in, I've got my sheets, I'm heading upstairs to pick my bed. Oh, this is quite nice, a little chair, a little seated area. I mean, to be honest, a bed is a bed at the end of the day. A bit random, I normally prefer the bottom bunk, but actually, I feel as though on the top bunk I'm going to get more daylight here. Bed is set up. I've just done a little food shop and I'm so excited, I'm going to make myself some pancakes and I've got some blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, I'm going to make a little raspberry jus. I normally put like honey on top and have chia seeds sprinkled on top. Obviously don't have that so I'm gonna make do. And I also got some chicken which a bit of protein which obviously I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna cook that up as well. I'm gonna eat well today folks. I'm gonna eat very very well. Thank you. I've eaten and I feel so much better having some good food inside me. I'm gonna have a little siesta, a couple of hours of chill. <sighs> but until then, nap time. Oh, 
Good morning, beautiful people. Had such a good day yesterday. Feel fully recharged, re-energized. Do you know what I really love about the Camino? You're just walking along the street, following the arrows, and then you walk along, and then suddenly you look to your right and be like, wow, like that's just amazing. I think maybe you went to get a photo here, standing in the pilgrim shoes and holding onto the back. super cute little town. I thought it was actually going to be a much bigger city than, um, than it is. Oh, nice little courtyard. Hola, full, so gutted. <laughs> Let's see where today takes us. Where will I end up? How many miles will I walk? Is it going to be an extra three or four or an extra 15 or 20? Who knows? for pilgrims. Where's the sign? Show me a sign. <laughs> the sign. Municipal. Woohoo. Opens at 12.30. 11.56. Although I don't think this is the municipal one. 12.20. I'll find out in 10 minutes. It is full. Another eight miles. Let's go. I'm just very, very quickly going to check out the, time, the town square in case I've missed an alberge. There seems to be lots of pilgrims down there and I'm wondering if that is the municipal alberge. This is the queue. Apparently there are 30 beds. I'm 18 or 19 so. Banana pancakes with raspberries, blueberries and grated dark chocolate. What I'm going to buy next is I'm going to buy some walnuts and I want to buy a small pot of honey as well so I can drizzle some honey over it. I think that would be delicious. But now I'm just going to tuck in and enjoy my meal. Mm -hmm. 